All right, guys, welcome back to Dan's Aquarium. Hi, how are you doing? So, Pete, someone, one of our subscribers said we should do a video about Mini, didn't you? Mm hmm. And, well, talk about Mini and. You need to get him off. Well, well, life, really, isn't it? Yeah, like her story. Yeah, so do you want to explain her story? Okay, so we was living, we had first, we had just got our first home together. I think it was in 2014, wasn't it? Yeah. September 2014. And we wasn't actually looking to have pets or anything, was we? No. Um, and I was scrolling through Facebook and I'd seen this advertisement that someone was wanting to rehome a cat that she had rescued this lady. Um, she had rescued her from a place where she was being treated horribly. Um, and I just fell in love with her instantly, you know. I was like, oh, Dan, like, look at this. And he's like, oh, she's really cute. Um, so I messaged the woman. Um, and funny enough, the woman lived on the same estate as my mum and dad. On the same house and estate, didn't she? She yeah. lived, like, two streets away. Which was, like, mad, wasn't it? So you actually went round and seen Minnie, didn't you? Yeah. Because um, I didn't want to, like, go around there, fall in love with her, and then, like, we couldn't have her. Or something like that. Do you know what I mean, I wasn't... I didn't want to do that. So you actually went and looked, didn't you? You can explain that better. Well, I went round and look. And the bloke and woman had her in their arms as I walked through the door. And she just jumped out of their arms and jumped straight up on my shoulders. I was like, yeah, she's the one. So I paid for her there and then. What should we pay for? Oh, gosh. A lot of money, wasn't it? Yeah, because there were some extras and stuff. Yeah, we got some extras and that for her. I think she... But yeah. Yeah, it was cost her quite a lot of money. And I... Picked her up, didn't I, that day. I took her back to Laura's mum and dad's because she was staying at the parents' house, wasn't it? I took her up in the spare bedroom where we were staying and let her go, put her cat litter and food and water and that in there for her. And I went out, because she was out at the time, didn't I? So I went out and met Laura and she was, oh, what was she like? And I wound you up, didn't I? Yeah, you were just like, oh, well, she wouldn't. I said, oh, she wasn't that special sort she did, of thing. She wouldn't take to me. She wouldn't take to me. She was nervous. She was nervous. She was scared. I said, so... I left her there, sort of thing. And you got upset, didn't you? Yeah, I was really disappointed. She was really disappointed. She said, oh. Okay. Okay. And when we went back to your mum and dad's, I said to Laura, I said, oh, can you go up in the bedroom a minute? I said, go and get me something. She goes, yeah. So she went upstairs, and as you opened the door, what was Minnie doing? She was just left there on the bed. She was just left there, like this, on the bed. And my first words were, oh, and I like bought Jock. Yeah. And ever since, I've called her, Pork chop, am I? Yeah. She just fell in love with you, didn't she? Yeah, we've got a very... People obviously have different opinions on animals. Me and Minnie have such a close bond, I cannot even explain that. Um, and she came into our life just sort of after we had an infant loss. We lost a baby. A miscarried with a baby. Um, and Minnie came into our life at the right time. I'm not like a religious person, but I truly believe, and I've said this before, I felt like she was sent to us, to me, because I needed someone, something then. And she was my distraction, she was my focus, and she's become such a, a mummy, loving... A mummy's girl. Yeah. I just... Get sport rotten. I don't love... I, I don't... I didn't think it was possible to love an animal as much as I love her. She's, she's my best friend, really. She, you know, she knows when you're down, she knows when you're upset. She knows when it's bedtime. She's so clever, I cannot stress to you guys how clever she is. She she knows, you know, when it's feeding time, she knows what she's got to do if she wants to be fed. She's very spoiled, <laughs> very spoiled. And she is, I've never met a cat like her. I've always been actually been brought up with dogs. I've never been brought up with cats. Because um, my mum and dad weren't really cat people. Um, and... As soon as they seen Minnie and met Minnie, they fell in love. They well. fell in love with her, mm. and they even class themselves as nanny and grandpa towards her, even when they see her. And well, when like that, I'm FaceTiming my mum because obviously the whole lockdown situation. She'd be like, Minnie, come and speak to nanny. <laughs> Literally, she even has. <laughs> they even get they even get cards off Minnie. Dan gets a Father's Day card. Yeah, and a birthday card. She's she's so loving. So Minnie was actually a rescue cat. She was from 
a place about how many miles from us? Well, it's where, it's the same town where we get where we go to pets at home. Yeah, so it's in the same. We live in Wiltshire, and it's in the same district as that. It's about a twenty minute drive from us. Yeah. She was rescued from a place there, um, and they had left her to fend for herself. They cleared off and left her. She was out on her own. Put in a wheelie bin. She was locked into a wheelie bin. She had no food, no water, no air. Um, she had a really bad eye infection when she was rescued and she still suffers with that now because it was left so long she's actually got part part sighted vision show. Yeah. That doesn't bother her, it doesn't affect her life does it at all, does it? That doesn't affect her doing what she wants and being as cheeky as she is. Um, she's also a house cat, so she doesn't go outside. Um, as soon as we got her, she was very nervous, wasn't she? Yeah. She was... Like when she went to the vets and stuff when we first got her, she was very nervous. And I know you hear about, you hear so many stories about cats getting run over and stuff. And I fell in love with her instantly that I wasn't willing to, I wasn't willing to like risk losing her. And she didn't like the outside anyway. So we decided to keep her as an indoor cat, didn't we? Yeah. A house cat. We lived in a flat anyway, so at the time, didn't we? So she had, it was a big flat anyway. We went to a room, room running room. around. She had a play mat. She, she, even now, guys, I can't explain to you. She's got a big box of toys. It's like a toy box. <laughs> it's no joke. She has loads of toys. She, she has loads she of She even plays armies, doesn't she? Yeah. So, yeah, when we got her, she was she had a really bad eye infection. Um, so that had to be taken care of. Um, so that left her partially sort of... She can still see out that eye. It's just partial. Um, she hasn't got, like, fully, fully like, working eyes like in that one eye and um, she also had a broken back leg as well so her leg I, I think it's her left leg I think she even when you see her stand one of her legs is slightly crooked isn't it yeah so she had a broken leg as well I don't know how it happened we the lady who we got her off of she don't know how it happened um so yeah she went through the walls she also had a litter of kick, a little she had a litter of kittens took away from her right leg we think that's why she was left, wouldn't we? Yeah. We think like they took the kittens and left. Left her. Uh... Minnie. Um, and we've like she's gone to so many different vets because she's very, she's five and a half years old, but she's very loving, isn't she? And yeah. she's very babyish. She's very sensitive as well, isn't she? So we they think that that's something to do with it partially that she had she had her little kittens and she was mothering them and then it was took away from her yeah but she knows she, she's safe and well looked after now don't she yeah she's it's funny because Aura always goes to bed before me don't you mm -hmm. and Minnie was going there in the bedroom check on Laura then she'd come in here she'd sit up on the sofa and she'd sit there for a good half hour 45 minutes then she'd jump on the floor and then she'd come and jump up by me won't she we have a routine every night, guys. And she she tell me she like nudge me to make to tell me that the lights need going off then for the fish. So I turn the fish lights off, and then she come back up and nudge me to say that she's ready ready for bed. So I will take her in the bedroom, go to bed myself. She she knows her routine. Yeah, so she can settle down. She wakes us up in the morning because um, she have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then she has biscuits down all day. She lets us know when she's hungry, but she has her routine. She'll come in here. In the morning, she'll have her breakfast. She's generally like a baby because she'll come in, have her breakfast in the morning. Well, the first thing she does, isn't it? She runs in, we open the door, she runs in, she goes straight to her the tanks, check two up white on ones. the two white tanks, check on the fish, and she's going to check on the snails, then she'll check up on the green community tank. And then that's when she'll have her that's, breakfast. And then she'll sit there and wait for her breakfast, won't she? Have her breakfast, then she'll have a nap. <laughs> yeah, then she'll run around. Then she'll run around, have a funny one. Um, and then she'll have a dinner, same thing, she'll sleep in the evening and then when it's time for bed, I go in the bedroom first, she might come in with me and she'll wait for me to get into bed and I normally sit on my phone and then she, she leaves me to do that and she comes in there and sits with Dan and she will not yeah. come to bed until Dan comes to bed. She, and if he, if he, because sometimes you play in here on your Xbox at night, don't you? Yeah. And sometimes like Dan will shut her out. Um, she will literally cry at the door, won't she? Yeah, to just be in here. To be in here with him. I don't know what it is. She normally sits in here and watches me play with play like the Xbox. And then when she's had enough of being in here, she'll just be like... Yeah, she'll start her butt me like that. <laughs> or she'll start... She wanna, Do that, she'll go... Or she'll bite your ear. Or she'll come up and she'll bite my ear, which is big Do enough. That. She'll go... A little nibble, won't she? Like that. 
And I'll turn around and say, what do you want? Go to bed and she'll go like that. And then it's time for bed. And then I'll write, bedtime now. So I turn everything off. And then we go off to bed, don't we? But she's, she, she's been through so much for such a young cat. Uh, We've had to take us to vets for uh, many a reason. She had gingivitis with her teeth. They shut her half of her teeth took out. Um, and that cost a lot of money. <laughs> She got, we got her spaded, didn't we? Yeah, she's been spaded. She, oh gosh, that was a long night. Because most cats wear collars. Obviously, even when animals get spaded, they normally wear a collar. Oh my gosh, she would not wear a collar, would she? Nah. The vet said they've never come across nothing like it. Obviously, we didn't want her to pull at her stitches or look at them. Carry on that. So, we literally had to stay away. He's found the fly from the last video. Is that actually there? You got it? He's got it. Um, yeah, so she wouldn't she wouldn't leave a collar on. She'd literally squeeze her neck out of it. So we rang back up the vets and they said, Well, there's another option that you can have. You can have her in this what was it called? Uh baby grow sort of thing. It's like a jacket. It's like a it's like a really skin tight jacket that you have on. So we spent £17 on one of them, put her in it. And guys, oh, I can tell you, if I can, I'll put a video clip up because I've got like over 500 pictures and videos of Minnie on my phone. I'll throw some pictures up from, as we're going through this video. Um, she was literally standing around on the floor like... Like a drunk man. She literally... Like, like that. Yeah. <laughs> All over the shop. All over the shop. She was like someone she was like someone that's just had like 30, 40 points and they just walked outside and fell over and get back you up. You know when you go to the pub, you walk out the pub and you know, get that fresh air and you start stumbling all over the shop, stumble home, end up tipping your kebab onto the path, that's what she looked like. Yeah. Um But we'll upload some pictures of her from when we first got her all the way up to yeah. now. So you can see the difference. But yeah, she's come so far. She's had some health problems, didn't she? She's she has birthday parties, didn't she? With her teeth, but I can't like she have, obviously with her teeth, she has to have teeth out. It costs me five hundred quid for that. Yeah. Um, she still bites even though she hasn't got many teeth, and it still hurts. Let me tell you. Um, but she's she doesn't let anything affect her, does she? She no. still even though she can't fully see out of one eye, she can. She's the most loving, loveliest cat there, yeah, isn't she? She still lives her life before, and I do believe in will truly carry on saying that she is the most amazing cat in the world. I know loads of people say about our pets, but she is truly, I mean, she sleeps with a teddy every night. <laughs> she sleeps with her goose and a pink mouse, yeah. which this pink mouse is so old and battered. I don't think it's around anywhere. Nah. I'll insert a picture of her with her. It's called Pedro. It's so old and battered. It's the first toy you ever bought her. And she will not let that go. She's tore the eyes out of it. She's is it missing in there? Yeah, or both ears. Both ears. This tail. This tail's think. gone. I put it. I put it in a box to throw it out, and all of a sudden you were scratching the boat, didn't we? Yeah. Well, what the hell was that? So we went out there into the hallway, and she only jumped inside the big box, got underneath to cut the carrier bag to get it out. Yeah. She picked it up in her mouth. It's like she, she honestly she carries things around in her mouth. She's like a dog, isn't she? I promise you, she carries. If I've got any pictures or videos of her, she will literally carry stuff around. And she's like this. Yeah, she'll sit up on a buffet with her bum on the buffet, her two front paws on the windowsill. I've got a picture of that. Yeah, with Laura will insert a picture of her looking outside watching her bird table out there. She's got her own bird table, guys. She she likes watching the birds, so we went and bought uh, a little bowl at first and put bird seed in there and just left it on the grass outside where we live. Once that's so I went and bought her a bird table, weren't we? Yeah. Anyway, she's got a bird table, like... She's got a massive tunnel that she plays in. Dan plays with her. They like to play armies. Um, I don't know how they do play, but they do generally play. Minnie will lay there in her tunnel. Dan's turn, they'll watch there, and she does. She lets. She's like yes. She lays there and listens, and then she runs out of the tunnel, and then it's just their game. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna sound like two crazy people <laughs> sat here in this video. People ain't gonna believe us. But yeah, honestly, she's such a character, and we're so lucky to have her. Yeah. Um, She's one of the best cats. And she's the most precious thing in my life and I love her so much. I even say I love her more than you do. 
Oh, I understand. She's literally like my baby. She is like my child. I love her so much. Um, and she's truly a blessing to be able to have her in your life every single day. Um, but yeah, I'll do like a little video montage now of loads of pictures of her from when we first got her. Um, I dress her in outfits as well. Yeah, she has birthday parties, doesn't she? She has she? birthday parties. I'll put some of her birthday pictures on as well. Yeah. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video, guys. Um, it just tells you a little bit about Minnie. Um, I'll show you her as well. Dan, go grab her. I'll go get her. She sat in the window. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, that hurt my back. You gonna cry? Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Everybody wants to say hello to you. You can say hello to everybody. Come on then. Yeah. There's your mummy then. Go to say hello to everybody. So this is Minnie, guys. You've seen her before, I know. She always photo of bombs our videos. Huh? Say hello. Sometimes you got to get her like her attention because she can't fully see you with her eye. Yeah, over here. Yes, I know, darling. I know. But guys, she is so loving. She's a big chunk of love. She's heavy, aren't you? Uh, I, hold her, I hold her like a baby, so is Laura. I normally tickle her back finger. Tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. You're a beautiful, what, what do people call her before? A beautiful tuxedo. <laughs> I didn't even know what that meant. I can't remember who said it now. Our friend Sheila, wasn't it? Was it Sheila? Yeah, I think so. Um, I thought, what's a tuxedo? But apparently she's a tuxedo. I always thought she was just a British short hair, but she's a beautiful, we call her that, she's looking at the camera. She can see a little light flash there. Thank you. Can you see yourself? Can you see yourself? Go on then, go yeah. dad. Come on then. Come on then, darling. What? All right. All right then. Come on then. Yes. Yes. You're like, hello everybody. Say hello. Say hello. Hello, hello friends. And every Thursday, guys, when we clap, clap for the NHS, and we come indoors, Minnie gets so jealous, doesn't she? Yeah, she likes to, she, Dan's got a hold her by the door. So I've got a hold her by the door and go like this with her, okay? Go on then, you want to go now? I'll go like that with her, and she, she'll be happy then, because otherwise she'll sit by the door meowing. Yeah. So I've got to lift her up and do it. So yeah. Right, let's end this video anyway, because it's going to be a long one. That's Minnie's story. If you like, she's looking at us, don't jump up on it, eh? If you like to let any, let, blah, 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 blah. If you'd like to know anything else, let us know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's just like a little backstory on Minnie. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to put in some photos of her now. I'll do it in like a little montage. Yeah. Slideshow. Thanks for watching. Give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to his channel down below. Hit that notification bell. Also subscribe to Laura's channel. Yeah, subscribe to my channel, please. And follow her on TikTok because you you're my little TikToker now, aren't you? <laughs> you got to start saying that. Ain't yeah. There's a little dance of Dan on there. Yeah, me and see Dan. me dancing. Guys, I can't tell you how many takes it took to film that TikTok. Yeah. Make sure you give us a good thumbs up, like and subscribe, turn the notification bell on. Make sure you follow us, every, follow all the channels down below, innit? Social medias. Social medias, and we'll see you in the next one.